This is the free motion quilting tutorial for COGS. This design is being sponsored by the Ultimate Quilting Kit, available at the Daystyle Designs Quilt Shop. Support the free motion quilting project and treat yourself to the three best tools for free motion quilting. The Supreme Slider, Machinegur's Quilting Gloves, and Little Genie Magic Bobbin Washers. Find this kit at DaystyleDesigns.com. Now let's get back to cogs. This design is a variation of echo shell. So you're going to first start with an initial shape, and that's a half circle, and then you're going to echo it. But the difference between echo shell and this design is you're going to echo with a very interesting kind of gear-like shape. It's uh, kind of this boxy back and forth set of lines, almost like the top of a castle, if you want to think of it as anything, uh, just to make it look like a gear or clockworks. So here you can see I'm making the half circle, and then I'm kind of travel stitching and creating that clockwork gear kind of shape surrounding it. And this is a little tricky. Um, it's a little tricky, number one, to uh, find a place to first create your half circle, and then it is a little tricky to keep that and maintain that kind of gear-like shape. But with a little bit of practice, I'm sure you can get the hang of this. And this is going to look really cool on a little boy's quilt, on a quilt for a kid who loves robots or machinery or clocks. It's just really kind of whimsical almost. It's it's just one of those designs that um, I was playing with and just had to stitch and play with and see what would happen. Um, but that doesn't mean that it's impossible to stitch. It is a little tricky. Um, it doesn't mean that it's horribly difficult. It's just something that you're going to need to take your time on and play with a little bit. And a good idea would be to first stitch some echo shell and once you get comfortable with Echo Shell, uh, then give this one a try. And maybe even practice drawing that kind of back and forth, uh, um, kind of tooth-like gear kind of shape. And get some practice stitching that or drawing that before you try and put it together in this COGS design. This is an echoing design, so it's going to work generally anywhere in your quilt. So long as you can wiggle in and fit in uh, the shapes, then you can absolutely stitch the dis design. I, I actually think that this is going to work a lot easier on a larger scale, so that way you have more space to see what you're doing and where you're going. Uh, definitely try it on a bed quilt, maybe with all over quilting, and see what happens whenever you first start with an initial half circle that's maybe two to three inches inches wide and then you stitch your echo with your kind of gear kind of shape and maybe make that four or five inches uh, and really expand this and see what happens when this gets on a larger scale. You can see that I've fast forwarded here into the design and what this looks like as you cover a larger area of your quilt. It has a really interesting texture because it's mixing that nice soft half circle that curving kind of shape with straight lines and sharp angles and that always makes for an interesting texture. So here's what it looks like whenever you finish COGS. For over 250 videos on free motion quilting including the echo shell design that I mentioned in this video go to daystyledesigns.com or freemotionquilt.com